Are you going to be OK when I'm gone? It's my fifth tour. Of course I will. Of course you go. I'm Kate Barkley, Colonel Barkley's wife. Let's come up with some exciting activities to do while our service people are away. What about singing? Singing? Well, let's just get the strippers in. <laughs> <laughs> this singing club is going to be a lot of fun and uplifting. And there'll be a few beers afterwards. So, so why don't we... <laughs> No. no, 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 go ahead. Uh, uh, thanks very much, Lisa. That's lovely. This reminds me of when my parents got divorced. Are you going to play that thing without any music? Reading music makes things a bit stilted. I'm not sure Mozart would agree with that. One, two, three. Oh! That was like the incantations of a bunch of witches. A bit dramatic. If you think singing with a pole up your arse is what the women need, then you're more out of touch than I thought. More troops are being deployed to Afghanistan. I just feel sick all the time. Every time the phone rings, every time the doorbell goes. You may not need the choir, Lisa, but those women do. Sometimes when I think of her name, when it's only a game, and I need you. Brass heard you rehearsing and you've been invited to sing at the Festival of Remembrance. What? The big one on TV. This is going to be a disaster. This is a professional event. We cannot embarrass ourselves. What are you doing? Checking my heart rate. OK. Well, you look like you're choking yourself. There are going to be so many people like us with loved ones at risk. And I want to do this for them. If you're lost, I know it feels a bit much, but if we can survive the last five months. We can survive five minutes out there. Maybe this choir isn't about singing for ourselves. It's about being heard. Come and see. No, thank you. It's like childbirth. Best to be completely oblivious until it's happening. <laughs>